Hey there, photographers. Wait, or are we creators? Is there a difference? Do the words matter? And what's this creator economy thing that I keep hearing about? Let's talk about that today. Hey there, Aaron here from techphotoguide.com. Be sure to subscribe down below to get the next update as I bring it to you. Today we are going to talk about words, photographers versus creators. What are we? So this term creator has really taken off on the internet in the last, I don't know, let's say five years or so. And as someone who's a photographer, you know, I, I create things. You probably create things if you're watching this very video. And so the question is, as we're putting ourselves out there as business people, as uh, artists, what should we call ourselves? Well, I like to look at it from a couple different angles. And I think here's where we stand right now with the term photographers versus the term creators. So I think all photographers are creators, but not all creators are photographers. The term creator really has come to represent anybody who makes something and puts it out there to the world. And it's often used with the phrase creator economy to talk about kind of this new business marketplace that has evolved over the last few years around people who create things and put them out there generally on the internet, you know, and are looking for an audience who is into that work. Now, this might be a photographer, this might be a podcaster, this might be a writer, this could be a YouTuber, this could be a blogger, There's this could be a cosplayer, this could be a crafter. There's any number of types of creations that creators can make. And when it comes to the term creator economy, and when it comes to kind of, you know, how we refer to ourselves or what phrase we use to talk about who we are and who we serve, I think of photographers, and if we're talking about photographers who are saying they're photographers and professional photographers, I think that term best applies when we're talking about photography client services. So this could be a wedding photographer, a portrait photographer, a commercial photographer, uh, you know, someone doing corporate event work, headshots, uh, you know, maternity pictures, baby pictures, any of these types of things, they're services where somebody goes out looking for a photographer to hire them to make some photos specifically for that person, that company, that event. A creator, on the other hand, and we talk about somebody who's, you know, a professional creator and selling their work as a creator, a creator, on the other hand, usually isn't making something for a specific client. They're putting something out into the world, some sort of art usually, or some sort of invention or creation. They're putting it that out into the world and they're looking for people who are gonna become fans, you know, become customers that want to support that person continuing to make similar types of goods. When we talk about the creator economy and where does this revenue and these transaction models come from, you know, there's a few different places. Typically we see uh, some of that is through, uh, you know, direct purchases, direct support. You know, you might be selling your artwork to somebody who's buying a photograph, whether that be a digital or, you know, a physical print. You might have patrons. You may have people who are subscribers of some sort who give you an amount of money, you know, either one time or on an ongoing basis to support your work to help you continue to create and put things out there in the world. Another place where kind of the creator economy intersects with, you know, internet culture uh, is with influencers sometimes as creators and where we have brand partnerships and sponsorships that happen. And in these cases, you know, someone who's creating something will partner up with a brand who has a product or service that seems like it's a good fit for their audience and that company will give the creator some money to help them fund their ongoing work. You know, you see this a lot with, uh, you know, people who are big on social media, put their work out on social media. Um, you see it right here on YouTube all the time. You, you know, have paid or uh, promotional posts or videos that are made here. And so when we talk about photographers as creators, if that's an aspect of your business that you're putting out there where you create your work in exchange for patronage, for brand partnerships, for things like that, then yeah, I would say you're participating in the creator economy. That said, there are plenty of photographers who are putting work out there in more of a traditional client service model. And while you are creating something as a creator, that's not really what people are typically talking about when they're talking about 
the creator economy or you know kind of that industry of creator culture so hopefully this cleared things up a little bit at least from where i stand you know obviously as photographers we are creating images whether they're for a client whether they're purely for ourselves for artistic purposes you know but as you talk about online business as you talk about um, you know the artistic world in 2022 and beyond you know we hear creator economy we hear the term creator thrown around and i think it makes sense to kind of look at whether that's you know really where you're positioning yourself as a photographer and whether that's a venture that you're participating in so again hope you found this interesting feel free to drop a comment down below if you have any thoughts i'd love to converse about this hit that subscribe button and i'll see you again next week thanks